Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Control. Last time we basically finished off the uh, the Foundation DLC and uh, started working on the uh, the rest of the side quests, uh, which we don't have a lot left. Yeah, we only seem to have a pretty much a handful left. Um, let's try this jukebox one. I'm pretty sure it's like another survival mode thing. I believe you have to go to the executive area to do this. Yeah, central executive. So this will potentially be the, uh, the last video on control. Uh, going through all the side quests. That's pretty much the goal. We'll see if we can get through it all. All right, we just have to find that jukebox. I completely yeah, forgot where it was. Welcome back, Director. Is it here? It looks like we haven't been through here. I have no idea if we've been through here. After a certain point, it all pretty much looks the same, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. I know where we are now. Huh. Wait, do I? No. I don't think I have been here before. Yes, we have. I remember now. We have been here before. Okay, so the jukebox is definitely not this way. What is going on with these shimmers? Like the lighting. Really weird. that fucking jukebox. Oh, there it is. Right, right, right. Okay. So I guess we need to do these in, in order. Oh, this costs five jukebox tokens, and this one's three. Okay. Um, availability expires in an hour, basically. Challenging expedition. So enemy base health, 100%. Undertake expeditions at quarry site beta to earn unique mods. Completing each of the four objectives will dismantle the formation to reveal the war rewards waiting inside. All right, let's try it out. So it's not just a one-time thing. You can just keep going back in there and keep getting the the different um, ingredients for the mods. What the hell? Oh, my God. Uh, that's getting clear of the four island sites.
Oh shit. So I'm wondering if this is just uh, like they're constantly going to be like respawning or something. So I just need to stand here. Okay, no, it does stop. And it looks like I have about 20 minutes left for this island, I guess? Oh shit, it's not done yet. Or is it? Yeah, it's done. Where are you? Goodbye. Oh shit. Go, bro. So it's up there, the third one. Goodbye. Get out of here. Anyone else? Wait, I thought I had an hour. Now I only have like 20 minutes in total? Oh, maybe the portal remained open for an hour. All right, so we gotta we gotta hurry.
I'm pretty sure we can do it. But, uh, I don't want to... I don't want to tempt fate, you know what I mean? Retrieve the lost specimen data. Um... Eliminate the waves of hiss. Okay. Let's get some health. All right, not bad, not bad. Definitely manageable. That, that was my own stupidity. I should have looked at the guy behind me. That's okay. Alright. Let's go, asshole. Right, baby. All right, third wave. Let's go. Oh, fuck. There's two of them. Come on, buddy. Conform. Everyone's conforming. All the cool guys are conforming nowadays. Come on. No, you wanna. Jeez. That hurt. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. I I see how it is. I see how it is.
Where is he? There he is. Come on, he's almost dead. Okay. Yeah, we spent too much time on that one. Rangers. Oh, fuck. Scavenger hunt. Alright. What is that beeping? Oh, I see. Okay. So they're telling us where they are, basically. So I believe I got that one. So it looks like there's three, maybe? Over here. No. It was somewhere here. Come on, come on, come on. We don't got time. There it is.
And then this will be the last one. Rip, 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 rip. I'm not gonna go stay for these, I'm gonna go. Normally I would fight him, but we're we only got six minutes. Come on, come on. This is pretty fun actually. Last one. We're in the his corrupted material. Holy shit. Oh my god, what is going on here? Burn it how? Oh, I see. Come on, come on, come on. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go find the thing. Where'd it go? I don't see any more his corrupted material. Enough time for this. Some muck. <sighs> Fuck. I don't want to have to waste time searching for the fucking globe. I can't find any more corrupted his stuff. I, I think I need to just sh like kill the waves. Fuck, we're all the way back here. Uh, I don't know if we can make this, guys. I have to be able to find them. There's no way I have to complete the waves. Because it would... I would assume it would tell me?
No, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go look. There's another one. Like, I don't see anything else. Oh, there's another one. That sucks. All right. I think maybe I do that one first. Yeah. So we have 25 minutes to clear all four areas. If I hadn't died the first time, or even the second time, I probably would have gotten it. Oh, they spawn in a certain order. Maybe. Oh, uh, they even switch locations. Fuck, that's not good. So I guess each island maybe gets progressively more difficult? Oh jeez. Okay, buddy. That is enough. One more, man. One more.
Yeah, this is infinitely easier. And I would much rather have done this the first time around. Okay, second. Uh, I think I'll do the ranger one second. Then I'll do the wave ones third. This is the wave one. Fuck. Oh well, whatever. That was my own stupidity. That was my own stupidity. I was getting aggressive. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Third one. Alright, um, I might as well do this real quick.
Next one. Fuck off. God, give me a fucking break here, guys. Right in the head, buddy. Okay, where are you? I heard you. Is it up there? course and now I need help.
Oh, come on. I didn't even... For fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, I had it, man. <sighs> Piece of shit. You know what? Abandon. Let's let's try it again. Player and enemy launch speed 50%. Uh, sure, I don't know what that means. So I guess the challenges change every time? Potentially? Alright, so we're doing this one again first. Alright, that's one. So now we want to do this one. I did it. I did it. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I would have been so pissed. I would have been so fucking pissed. If, uh, if that thing came up like a second earlier. All right. Seriously? Bitch. All right, nine minutes. This will be tough. I have no no illusions about that. Yep. Fuck did it go? Yes. 
Okay, well, I don't have time right now. I gotta get going. Oh, there it is. What the fuck? Oh. Well, fuck off. Who is shooting at me? Oh. Oh, this is not good. This is so not good. Fucked off. Good, good, good. One more, one more, one more. Oh, shit. Oh, not good. Not good. Fuck off! Yes, I'm up. Last one. Guys, I'm freaking out. You have no idea. I'll have to come back to this one. There's no way I could do it in three minutes. There's no fucking way. That's a challenge. That is such a fucking challenge. Okay, well, there's an hour of my life I'm not getting back. 
Let's do the regular stuff first. Langston's Runaways. Okay, so there's one in Protective Studies. So I guess Ritual Division, then we'll head south. Uh, wrong one. So we want to head that way. So this one is... Where are we? So this one is the rubber duck. Okay, so we know we're about the rubber duck. So the rubber duck was over here. Oh, hi. So that's the rubber duck. But how do we get in there? Do we have to break the wall or something? The door is open. That uh, kind of hurt. So we have heard this one before about the rubber duck. So I'm guessing that pattern means something because it's not on the other one. Oh no, it is on the other ones. Is it the same? Yeah, it looks the same. But where do we even enter it? Is it up here? Nope. Nope. Somewhere here. What was that? Uh, you know, I think it's time to change my gun back to the uh, the which one was it? The charge, I guess. Yeah. Just to kind of see if the walls will break. So we have been in that door before, but it didn't lead us anywhere. Unless... Unless we have to break the wall there too, maybe? Unless it has to do with these cards, but I don't know if we can manipulate you these cards Hedgehog anymore. We're never one and the same. Haven't we made enough? She so long as the hiss are out it there. It helped be... Darling with the HRAs to slow the hiss down. I'm kidding, of course. And it helped me learn to tap into this power I had inside. You. Yeah, I can't manipulate this stuff anymore. hurt I mean thanks I need the help but
Really? Where did all these guys come from? Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Where did all these guys come from? has to be something here. There's no way this room is here just for that. Oh, shit. Oh, we got some mold here, boy. Well, just for that one segment. What was that? Oh. Is this like one of those mold areas? No, we don't have any more of the mold areas. What was that? Was that was that a quack? Disappearing ducks. Great. Oh, great. I just want to cleanse a duck, man. Duck is down here. Is it up there?
finally. No more quacking. Okay. Direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safety gloves are required when handling. Item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. Single hole at the bottom air allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound analogous to quacking. The item travels considerable distances with surprising speed. How it achieves this motion is unknown. Teleporting, most likely. The item pours a blank of unknown purpose with anyone who makes direct physical contact with it and begins to follow them quacking often. This has led to a researcher named Blank entering cardiac arrest due to the though due to the individual's health issues, the matter may not be connected to the item's effect. Item on loan to the research sector for further study. Okay. That was surprisingly annoying. Now, they're, the other two are in the containment. So one is in the Prime Candidate Program, the other one is Sealed Threshold Corridor. Let's do that one first. Oh, maybe down here? Oh, ominous pink lights. Pink like a flamingo. going on with these lights, man. That's got to be an altered item. Okay, these lights, what the fuck? I have no idea what's going on with the lights here, guys. With the colors? Do I have to fly? Yeah, it looks like I have to fly. I can't even see where the thing is. This thing again. Oh, not the former again. Didn't we kind of kiss and make up? Oh shit. Well, I didn't realize there was so little space. I should have looked around my surroundings. So it was back there, I think. Ugh, gotta do this every time. That's got to be an altered item. All right, at least it looks better now. Oh my god, that is trippy as fuck. I touched the ground. Another platform over there. Oh, hi. That 
Oh, come on. This has just been a whole episode of failures, hasn't it? I thought we were friends. I thought Remember we kissed and made up. Goes. Too pink. Uh, no unique procedure required. Altered status is suspected but unverified. A plastic flamingo, lawn ornament, two silk prongs that stand from its underside. The item is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering meteorological phenomena in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. New altered effect has been observed. See file AI46.D for details. Cool. So now we are down to the last one, the mannequin. Unless Langston gives us like, oh, here's like 16 more. Okay, no, you know what? No. No. Just no. Uh, the prime candidate program. I think we could go there from logistics. I don't remember exactly the way, but yeah. So what are we looking for? A mannequin. In here. No, oh, hello. I've been here. Oh, that's the Threshold Kids. Yes, I have been here. We haven't seen anything from the Threshold Kids in a while. Why must there always be one of these healing balls? Like, no one wants you. Alright, fuck off. Satisfied. Okay, so P7 is me. Uh, oh, hi. So it has to be somewhere here. Yeah, we've seen all this before. Um, 
just came from. So it has to be somewhere in this room. Because we've kind of been everyone else. Come on, just let me be, man. Happy you shot me. The fuck? Is that the hiss? Oh, it's right there. Creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. Okay. So what do I have to do? Let's find the right one. Hope you guys aren't creeped out by mannequins. I, for one, am not. Too bad. No known procedures for preventing the item's effect. Update 390. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Lining the item cell with a newly discovered black rock has yielded positive results. Test with other altered items. A wire and fabric waste mannequin. The base and head are made of stained wood. The item duplicates. That's an awesome power. You just need to buy this one mannequin and you're set for life if you're old in like a clothing store or something. The trigger for this behavior is unknown. No correlation can be found in either the number of duplications that manifest during an episode or the duration for which they last before disappearing. Okay. Now we return to Langston. All this paranormal power contained in one place is a risk. Makes me wonder what other dangers are locked away inside the bureau. You just realizing that shit now? Is our presence reassuring? What? No. Yes. Stop it. Every altered item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any trouble? The flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports, and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but that's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. I guess this is my life now. All right, give me a sit rep. Can I get a situation report for the sector? Whew, okay, uh, we still have to perform a proper inventory of the cells. Lord knows how many altered items snuck out during all this. Staffing, we definitely lost some people. Uh, gonna have to hit those college career fairs, am I right? Huh. Hard to imagine the FPC at job fairs. The hiss are still tearing up the place faster than we can fix it, but the containment sector is stable. Ish. Considering the alternative, I'm happy with stable-ish. 
Uh, yeah, Jesse is director. Any thoughts on me serving as director? I know it was a sudden change. Oh, uh, no complaints so far. Trench was all secrets, lots of meetings behind closed doors. You seem much more approachable. But if I can give you some advice, ma'am, keep a grip on who you are. I've been here a long time, and I don't know if it's the job or this place, but people change here, and not for the better. I'll try to keep my head on straight. And Langston's future. Will you stay on after things calm down, Langston? Are you asking if I'm quitting? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm not having some mid-level agent make a mess of my panopticon. Plus, I'm racking up serious overtime hours with this lockdown. Just don't take too long clearing out the hiss. My cat gets separation anxiety. I'll do what I can. He must have gotten a pet sitter. You would think. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like always. All right. Against my better judgment, <laughs> um, I'm I'm gonna check out the see if there's anything about those cats that we've been finding uh, that we found last episode, like the two cats. I'm gonna see if they have their own cell here. I don't know where they would be, but yeah. supplement interview with blank conducted with the aid of a French translator on November 17th 2009 in a retirement home in blank France where were you on August 2nd 1979 mr. Boileau I'm gonna say mr. B translated from French so so specific a date <laughs> as if I could ever forget I was called to a fire at the rules blank what did you see Smoke, white like a new pope, uh, rising up from the windows of a small shop. I sent my men in. I was fire chief back then. What happened next? We pulled the shop owner out. He was already dead, smoke in his lungs. We found the source afterwards, a baby's walker. Poured water onto it, but that only encouraged the smoke. We pulled the carriage outside. Smoke kept shooting out. A crowd gathered. People said it was a miracle, but I disagreed. It seemed to me more like an omen. We brought the strange thing back to the fire hall. Some Americans like yourself came later and took it away. End of relevant portion. So there's a mannequin back. There's that hand back. And what did this open? Oh, okay, just opened that up. Okay, so the cats are not on this floor. If they are here at all. Is that a rubber duck back? Okay, so I searched all around the Panopticon, all the altered items. There's no there's no cats. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um I don't know. If we come across it again, then great. If not, I don't know. Uh, okay, so... Oh, there is more mold removal. Alright, let's do the old friends. So, they're all in maintenance. Okay, that ought to be easy. Uh, maintenance is near the top, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so... Well, there's a lot of them. Okay, so around the cool and pump area, the upper levels. Sure, why not? We can always drop down. Mold's gotten in here too. All right, let's get cleaner.
Oh, was that it? Oh, that was it. Uh, okay. What is that? Oh, it's just the light. Alright, uh, I guess I will use this elevator. Wait, wasn't there an elevator here? Or was that the opposite end? I think it was the opposite. I think it was this end, yeah. Alright, that was easy. One down. Two down, technically. Okay, so... Next, Black Rock Processing. So that'll be here, I guess. Through here? Maybe? I guess so. Power plant ventilation. Sati's room, isn't it? I guess I just take a seat. Oh. This is what being a janitor is all about. I suppose the janitor's assistant does need proper janitor attire. We got the janitor. That's actually really funny. Okay, I gotta check this out. Alright, next time we hit up a control point, we'll take a look. Um, with the Black Rock Lab. lab is through here, right? No, not through there. I think it was through here, maybe? Yeah. So, might as well. Let's take a look. Um, we want to do this. Because that will be so good. So fucking good. Oh, we need to go to executive, uh, the executive sector. I will check it out afterwards. What? Why? Is it blocked off? Okay, that's fine. That's why fast travel works. Um, so we can go to the Atlas Chamber. Oh, hi. Waste no time, eh? Another old squad in Voracious. That literally wasted no time. Um, and then we want to head this way. Potentially? Um, interesting. Did they block it off? Maybe we have to save that one to last? Oh, never mind. I just have to go through here.
Okay. Ooh. Yeah, they can wait for me. Such a responsible director, eh? You're like, yeah, they can make without me for a few minutes. Uh, so that was it? Just that? Good, bro. Okay. So now, yep, we'll need to head back. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's do the energy converter's entrance, and then we'll do the Black Rock Quarry last. This one's going by swimmingly. Oh, hello. Have I been in this one? I think I have, yes. No, I have not. Yeah, you can blow up. That's fine. Um, up here, right? Yeah. Up there. Remus, no. Remus Lupin. Changes back to tears. You mind now, Remus? Oh, I gotta actually kill him. Sorry, bro. That's a shame. Well, they would die anyway, even if I converted them. So, to the quarry. I wonder where you'll be. This place is huge. me out. Where the fuck is he?
I'm sure there's a lot in this area I haven't explored. But I mean, look how look how massive this place is. Oh right, this is where we literally just came from. Um, he might be in there. That'd be my guess. Alright, brother. Coming to get you. I've been a curve before, yeah. I hear gunfire. If I just come to this one, the quarry entrance, I should have done that. Oh well, uh, it's fine. Central executive. We could check out the janitor's uh, costume here too. Let's do that first. Janitor's assistant. <laughs> I still think this one's great. All right, Arish. Here are the pouches. I found six. Well, that's all of them. Kind of mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but. That's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? Too late now. Now the story's confidential, but uh, <coughs> I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of a werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm it was bullshit. Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? Turns out, there was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh, man, we nearly bit it that night. Well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. So why did you leave the rangers? I thought I could do more good here. Somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? Yeah. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. We've we've seen that report with the with the werewolf stuff. It was that hand that was uh, causing all the trouble. Could survivors be hiding inside? It's possible. I remember a report about a similar Um Might as well upgrade this all the way. And let's go check on Dylan again real quick. Trench is dead. Along with Salvador and Tomasi. Marshall's missing. Darling is you know, same, you just got like the same amount of hair.
Okay, so I believe that just leaves two of the side missions left. Oh no, mold. I forgot about the mold. Mold. Let's do that. So, they're all in research, which is good. But we still haven't found that room to the left, the top left. Okay, so I guess we'll do parapsychology first. So the question is now, where is the mold around parapsychology? I think parapsychology is down this way, actually. Oh, there is the mold. Oh. Hello. Been here before? Sensory tank purpose. Darling here, some of you were curious why I had these sensory deprivation tanks installed. I thought I'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you have heard of Dr. Yoshimi Tokui, the man behind the hugely popular guided imagery experience tapes. Apparently his tapes go beyond the normal meditative qualities of such things, but create genuine hallucinatory visions in some listeners, or so the reports say. We brought these tanks in to test Dr. Tokui's tapes for ourselves. Plus, there may be some stress-relieving uses for the staff down the road. I think we could all benefit from some time in a dark and closed space, don't you? If you have any more questions, feel free to stop by my office. You know where it is. Oh, extra sensor lab. Here it is. How have I not come here before? Dr. Tokui investigation. Dr. Yoshimi Tokui, a Japanese citizen uh, residing in Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience audio recordings that have gained notable popularity around the globe. Due to, due to his unusually swift rise in fame, along with the reports of Vivid Blank accompanying the use of his tapes, investigation sector staff were asked to look into Dr. Tokui's background. We found no past incident with an altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organization. However, agents that attended a signing event reported Blank when hearing Dr. Tokui speak. We recommend that the research team obtain an audio recording of Dr. Tokui's voice and perform any and all relevant analyses. Based on the findings, the investigation sector will determine the next steps regarding Dr. Tokui as well as his eligibility for the prime candidate program. Hmm. So he was initially... Huh, that's funny. He was initially, uh, I guess, uh, being looked at for the um, prime candidate program. How have I never been here? Is that a recording? It's not recording. Oh. Okay, well, there's... I don't see any mold hosts here. Stairs? Yes, there is. So it's literally just the guys. It's not even like those mold mounds.
So I need one more, eh? Oh, they close those off. Okay. Is that the former? Okay, 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 okay. It's the former. Now I get it. Now it makes sense. Alright, where's this last guy? Should be here somewhere. There it is. Alright, cool. So next, central research. Uh, or even ritual division. No, let's start in ritual division. We'll work our way up from there. Well, it looks like the mold know how to work an elevator, which is a uh, scary thought. Oh, hi. One down. So when you come in, you have to hit this one. But when you come into this one, you have to hit this one. It's so weird. For fuck's sake. Come on, guys. Can't we just call it a day with all this stuff? here central research which of course is closed off because why would it not be we got to take a long way around like he needed to use the toilet oh it looks like there's five in this area fuck
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I thought they spawned in there for a minute. Um. Alright, I guess we're fast traveling to... Wait, how do you get to Central Research? This is Central Research. Oh, lordy Lou. Alright. Looks like we're going to have to explore this area a bit. Synchronicity Lab. Hello? Any molded here? Oh, I hear him. Oh, I hear him. There you are. Got him. Got him in one. Yeah, so I still don't know. Oh, it's the threshold kids. I still don't know what's going on with the. Um, thought that was a document. So I don't know what's going on with those things. So I don't know what's going on with these. See, there's any mold uh, down here. No. Oh, is that it for this area? Oh, just central research now. How am I going to get there then? Was Central Research just like the main area? Like the main hub? I guess so. What the fuck did I break? I know we've been in here before, but uh, I guess this one doesn't count. I don't think I've been in here before. Oh, hello. Definitely have not been in here. Hammer procedures. Ah, this thing. Game Hammer. Per archival mandates 8.8, .8, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. No method for suppressing the item's thaumaturgical effect is yet known. To prevent infection, wear proper safety gloves when handling. The item is a wooden mallet from a high striker carnival game. A long wooden handle extends from the head. The item infects any organic material with an unknown disease upon making physical contact. The effects of this disease are similar to leprosy, but develop at a much faster rate. Within a matter of days, tissue loss develops in the limbs closest to the point of infection. While the disease itself has not claimed any lives, secondary infection has resulted in numerous deaths. Wow, that sucks. Anything up here? Yes. Okay. Oh, Jesus!
not gonna lie, that kind of legit freaked me out a little. Like, well, not freaked me out, startled me. That legit startled me. Fortunately, that doesn't count towards our side quests. Darling, Underhill Disagreement. Dear Dr. Darling, I feel I must inform you of the very questionable documentation I am seeing from Underhill's desk. She clearly has no concept of what the mold is. She claims there are microorganisms responsible for constructing the mold. Ridiculous. It's a rapidly growing fungus, not dissimilar to kudzu. She's fabricating complexity to justify her absurd budget demands. Speaking of which, I find it interesting that an old friend of yours gets her budget approved with no questions asked. I wonder if the Operations Oversight Committee would be interested to learn of that. Yours in estimation, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Yeah, I mean, it's it's no secret that uh, Underhill and Darling don't get along. I mean, Lewis even said so, right? The hell? Holy shit, so... So the HRA, I believe he was talking about, was the one that was protecting Polaris. The one that was like right in front of that huge door. Like that, we already had to pull out the... The... The fasteners, I guess. The, the huge... Um, what are they called? Like the beams that were holding the, the HRA in place. Did Dr. Darling put himself in Polaris? And knew that he was going to get blown up somehow? That... I guess we find out what happened to Darling. Officially. Why he put himself inside Hedron is... Oh, what the fuck? Thought I was leaping up. Oh, fuck you, man. Fuck you. Dodge that, bitch. Um. Forgot what I was saying, as usual. Um. Yeah, why would he put himself inside Hedron, though? Did he feel like that was the safest place to be? But then he knew he was going to die. I don't know.
Should also pay a visit to uh, Underhill at some point soon. I think that's the last oh, one. Oh, there you go. I should let Underhill know. Speaking of Underhill. Might as well head down. Save you. Seriously. Hello? There we go. I found the hosts. They won't be spreading any more mold. Well done. I'll send burn teams to sanitize the locations. I'm beginning to wonder if these hosts are originating outside the threshold in independent patches of mold growth. You don't sound very optimistic. Optimism is for farmers, as my mother always said. I suppose you could now return to that hiss business you all seem so concerned about. This woman has some incredible tunnel vision. I assume you'll be staying with us until the mold is eradicated. Indeed. Until I find a permanent resolution to this pesky fungus business, I'll be here. Perhaps even beyond that, seeing as you are quite... understaffed at the moment. Though, I hardly have a say in my own comings or goings. Your oldest house won't open the exits until those hiss monstrosities are cleared out. Glad to have you along for the ride. Are you? Will the mold be under control anytime soon? We were barely containing it with weekly controlled burns. Just look at how it has spread after a few days of non-interference. It's beyond the threshold now. The floodgates are open. So that's a no. Americans. Uh, unappreciative scientists. With Darling gone, I'm putting Emily Pope in charge of the research sector. Are you okay with that? Perfectly. You have pulled Excalibur from the stone and now decree as you see fit. Oh, Queen. Oh, fuck off. What a true meritocracy we live in. Glad to hear it. You know, I, I don't think you would have wanted head of research anyway. You seem quite content with your fucking fungus. I had a dream. Or something like one. Darling was there. He told me something, but I can't remember what. I think he's gone. Right. Well, he's never where one expects him to be, is he? Well, thank God. I can finally stop writing these tedious reports that I'm sure he never even took the time to glance at. If you speak to him again, can you tell him I... I hope you found what he was looking for. I'll try. I should be getting back to work. I'll see you later, Rhea. Dr. Underhill, if you please. Right. Okay. Well, that's that taken care of. What multimedia did we get? Oh, right. Um, okay, so regarding the missions, just the token and shoom. Okay, we'll do this one. All right.
It begins. Oh, of course. shooting oh Really? Oh, fuck.
bet. Where the fuck are you? Oh. So far, we're doing really good. Who's next? Come on, come on, come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Go boys, come on.
Man, being able to take control of like the large ones really fucking helps. Where are you? There you are. Case file. Just want to make sure. Arcade cabinet supplement. Both items were purchased from a closing arcade in Blank, Michigan, as a part of a program to improve employee well-being through recreation. Program was canceled before any game machines were dispersed throughout the oldest house, but not before these altered items were discovered. Teams in the research sector have voiced considerable interest in the items due to the fact that they only exhibit an altered effect when physically paired together. A codependent relationship previously unseen in altered items. See Research Specialist Pope's paper titled The Parasensitivity of Sequels for more information. However, after proving the item's altered status, the investigation staff insisted on keeping them, claiming that they are important for sector morale. To date, numerous petitions have been filed by research sector personnel to move the items there for more extensive analysis. Very nice. So all that's left is the jukebox. And in all honesty, I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, because I'm not sure if I need to do like all three and I'm not, I'm not going to do another... I'm not going to do another episode. This episode has gone way too long as it is. I'm not going to do another episode just for this. So, as far as I'm concerned, the game is done. It's an ultimate blast to see the unique enemy she has encountered before and take another trip to the Astray Maze. Cool. Something to look forward to. So, just some final thoughts uh, on the game experience overall. Again, the game is a lot harder than it looks. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are like, oh my God, I can't believe he died so much. Again, it is a lot harder than it looks. Super fun. And I love uh, challenging games. You know, like I love Bloodborne is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, you know, just uh, recently played Dark Souls, the first one for the first time. Um, Elden Ring, like I beat Elden Ring. I love those kind of games. Won't play them all the time, but, you know, I love playing them. Challenging games are not a problem for me. But, you know, expect to die a lot. Having said that, um, the story, the story, very, very good. Very well done. I love the whole, um, the, you know, the secret world type of thing where it's like there's objects of power, items of power uh, that affects, um, you know, stuff going on around the world. I love there's like an organization like SCP that takes care of this kind of stuff. Um you know, like very men in black kind of stuff. And it's really cool. Uh, especially being able to get like the powers and stuff. So story, very, very, very cool. Um, very intrigued uh, with what's going on with the board, um, with, uh, with Dr. Darling, with Polaris. It's all very well done. My only real complaint is that there's too much padding. I feel like this game could have been tightened quite a bit. Um, you know, uh, it's basically what, like 14 videos that we've been going through. I feel like they could have tightened down to like, um, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's around like 20 hours gameplay, 30 hours gameplay. 
they kind of tightened down to like maybe a, a solid like 20 hour experience. Um, it's uh, there are times again where the padding, it's like you just, you, you, you get fatigued from playing too much of it again. Very, very fun game, but it, it gets to the, sometimes it gets to the point where it's like, there's too many waves of enemies The you know, the distance between this and this, and like the, all the extra stuff that they uh, throw your way obstacles that throw you away to get to the point um is too much again they they could have uh tightened it up the dlc um the foundation again like uh it really interesting with what they're with the backstory with the board and the oldest house i'm really um intrigued to see where they're going with this i'm 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 hoping there will be a control too i have no idea um, yeah, I don't know if they make mention of it now. Wake two, I, I have zero idea. I would assume so because Alan Wake DLC is in this game. Um, you know, there's a whole DLC dedicated to Alan Wake, so I don't know if there is, um, you know, mention of control again. I don't know if the FBI in uh, Alan Wake two is an actual FBC uh, agent. I'm, I'm waiting to be, uh, um. I'm waiting for that revelation if there is one. Uh, if there is a control too, I really hope there is. I would love to see this uh, this universe explored further. Um, figure out what's going on with the board, with the former, with um, with Darling. I, I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of Darling, even though he's dead. I, I have a feeling uh, he's he's still going to be around. Um, I would highly recommend playing this game. Like. Uh, if you guys if you guys stuck with me throughout this whole thing like i really i you have no idea how much i appreciate it you know being this being my first playthrough um i'm still kind of working out how to talk and play at the same time i'm i'm normally very quiet very silent whenever i play games i'm but i my mind is always racing i usually not talk to myself but you know how it is i i i I kind of try to unravel things in my mind as I'm playing the game, even during combat. That's just how my mind works. Saying it out loud is still kind of new to me. So I really, um, I really appreciate you guys sticking around. If there's any, uh, any suggestions you guys have, uh, in the future of like, uh, what games you'd like to see, how, hell, even how, how I can improve the channel, how I can improve my gameplay. Let me know. Um, always open to constructive criticism. Um, but yeah, as I said, that's uh, pretty much going to be it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this playthrough. Thank you so much for sticking with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.